Moving forward with this note, let me introduce our chairperson for the day. To give the opening remarks, please welcome our chairperson, Ms. Guncha Mittal, Head for Customer Success at Force. Please give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. With 17 years of diverse experience, Ms. Guncha Mittal excels in learning and development, training management, recruitment, and business strategizing, adept at client relations, infrastructure setup, content creation, and technical roles. She is dedicated, adaptable, and a strong people manager. A very big round of applause for our beautiful lady chairperson here. So, good morning, everybody. I know it's going to be a series of good mornings before we, you know, hit the clock by 11 or 12. So, um, again, a very good morning to all of you. Uh, my name is Guncha, as she announced, and I'm representing Ed Force here today. Uh, Ed Force is one of the presenting partners for today's event. I'm glad and I'm thrilled that you all are here. I welcome you all. Let me begin with a quick and few statistics for you all. According to the LinkedIn's Workplace Learning Report, about 94% of the employees, they feel that, uh, you know, they would stay longer in a company if the company invested in their learning and development. Yet, a staggering report from Gallup, this is an old report of 2020, only 13% of the employees strongly feel that, you know, the L&D does a fantastic job when, uh, you know, they are onboarding the new employees. I just want to highlight that there is a striking imbalance and a gap, you know, what, uh, between what the uh, employees are expecting and actually what is being delivered to them. The result has gone up to 27% as per the latest report, which shows that, you know, the LND is definitely doing a fantastic work. However, I strongly feel that, you know, there is more work that we need to put in and the show must go on. There was another report, you know, uh, which was published on India News, LinkedIn News, and it was on a couple of more portals and platforms that the latest Gen Z job seekers, about 67 to 70% of them, they feel that, you know, they want to prioritize their own learning upskilling over their salary packages. Whenever they are interviewing their standard question, no more is what is my salary package, the question is what's in it for me? So they definitely want, you know, the teams, the organizations to focus on their own learning and development and upskilling. Let me quickly move on to the 2024 top 10 focus areas as per the same learning report. Uh, aligning learning programs to business goals has been on the top priority for second time in a row. Uh, upskilling employees and creating a culture of learning has always been on this list. However, there is an item which demands attention, that is, help the employees in developing their careers. This particular item has moved from number nine to number four this year. Improving employee retention has been on the list. Do you think anybody of you could tell me what the next five areas could be? Any ideas? These are the top five, the next five. A any clue, any, any, any input? Has anybody here has gone through this report, which is available on LinkedIn? Okay, I'm a little surprised. The report was out in February and was made available publicly in March. So I would request all of you to go back home and definitely have a look at this report. I know it's a very long report, but believe me that the report gives a lot of wonderful insights. There are very surprising elements in the report. So let me just show them, you know, show you the next uh, five top areas. Uh, supporting the employees through their job changes whenever they are changing organizations, improving the learner engagement, measuring the success, this is always, you know, a, a list uh, item here, uh, ensuring diversity, equity, and inclusion, which is that we are fair to every sex, caste, creed, religion, gender has been always the need of the hour, and promoting employee well-being. This is a new entry on this list this year because employees feel that if their voices are heard in the organization, they feel that they are going to perform about five times better in their day-to-day -day work. 
Let me quickly show you what I feel and what LinkedIn feels that how the successful L&D leadership should be. They want their L&D leaders to lead them with empathy, that is foster a you know, environment in the workplace which is very, very easy to adapt. I al they also say that about 87% of the CEs directly link you know, empathy with financial performance of the company. Adapt to change in this con word of you know, constant change and improvement, we should promote uh, changing uh, uh, and adapting to change for all the employees. Act as a mentor, because I strongly believe that when you act as a mentor and not a leader, you actually help grow everybody and you grow along with them. Then welcome different views and encourage age diverse hires because you never know what kind of ideas would anybody give, right? So don't stick yourself to a particular uh, portfolio, you know, encourage uh, different kind of talents, young, old, not so old, everybody. Um, now that we have looked at some wonderful insights, let me formally welcome you all to the seventh L&D Confix and Awards, which is happening here in Hyderabad today. I came from Bangalore yesterday and, and I brought rain with me, but I promise I want to take it back with me tonight. <laughs> So use today's uh, you know, conference as a platform to talk to like-minded people, share your own insights, learn about the best trends, about industry standards, um, take some solutions home, and share your experiences with everybody. On that note, I would like to leave you all with a thought for the day. That is, capacity to learn is a gift. Ability to learn is a skill, but the willingness to learn is a choice. And I'm really glad that you all made that choice today to come here and take some learning home. Uh, that's all my time here today. My name was Guncha, and I, from the Air Force team and the Gain Skills team, is going to be on the floor. If you have any input, any feedback, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, stall outside. Do visit me and my colleagues there. Have a wonderful time today, and good day, all of you. Thank you so much, ma'am. I request you to please stay back as we are very glad to have you here and would like to felicitate you. And to do so, I request Mr. Venkatesh Palabatla, Vice President HR for AV Neon, to please come upon the stage. Can we give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs>